Hey Canada, welcome to the very first episode of Xbox All For One, a new web show celebrating the best and most committed gamers in the world. Obviously, I'm talking about you and me, I'm talking about us. I'm your host Marissa Roberto and together we're going to dive into the Xbox Canada community and find out why gaming is better with friends. Again, this show is all about you, your thoughts, your opinions, your stories and your moments. So post and post a lot, whether it's comments, game footage, or your reviews of your favorite games, what you send might just make it into a future episode. Is everybody strapped in? Good. Then let's hit start. In this episode, we'll see gamer reactions to Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, and other Xbox exclusives. We've got an interview with Brian Eckberg, community manager of Forza Horizon 3, and something we call Gold Rush. More on that later. But first, the news. Multiplayer is all about who you game with. After all, it's more fun with people who are at your skill level and have similar playstyles, which is why I'm so excited to talk about Xbox Live's upcoming clubs feature. Soon you'll be able to play with people just like you. With Xbox Live clubs, you can chat, set up parties, play games together, and share content. And there's even a club for everything. Gamers who love drifting in Forza, Minecraft players who build spaceships, parents who can only game after 10 p.m. You name it, there's a club for it. We'll even have one of our own. Join us next month to hear all about this and other new exciting features coming to Xbox Live. We may even go head to head with a club from our own community. Maybe even yours. In other news, the first round of Design Lab controllers has shipped. Post pics of your creations because we want to see them. We'll choose our favorites and feature them in next month's episode. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Guys, what's a girl gotta do to get a drum roll around here? Nice. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. The games. If you like playing with friends, then get ready for the greatest multiplayer matches of your life. And I'm not just saying that for dramatic effect. First up, Battlefield 1. Play through an adventure-filled campaign or team up for epic multiplayer matches with up to 64 players. And what's better than trampling your buddies while operating a 20-foot robot? I'm thinking nothing. Titanfall 2 drops, pun intended, with six new titans, a host of deadly new technology, and crazy new abilities. Titans aren't the only thing dropping. Pucks are hitting the ice all over Canada in NHL 17. Play with your friends or against them in a race for the cup. And what's a zombie apocalypse without your friends? Team up with four players in Dead Rising 4 to complete missions and conquer the zombie infested Megaplex before they feast on your brains. And you'll need your brains for the comment section. Tell us who you're playing with or against and don't forget to send us your picks. And now a little segment we like to call Sound Off! Every month we're going to bring you thoughts and opinions from the Xbox community. You guys have things to say and this is your soapbox. We recently caught up with you guys at X16 and Fan Expo to get your reactions to the hottest new games. Check it out! So I just played Gears of War 4. I love the fact that the surroundings now are now uh, engageable. You know, when the wind's blowing, you have a harder time running against it. You know, Gears of War has its own community, dedicated people. It's got a very big multiplayer base that's growing. It looks even better than before. The best part about gaming for me is playing with my friends. No matter what type of player you are, you'll be able to find another like-minded player out there. You'll be able to make friends from across the world and just experience something you've never experienced before. I think going through a Gears of War campaign is like a rite of passage for everyone who has an Xbox. <laughs> it's like, you gotta do it. Yeah, you got it. And there follow the main house. 
LS2 is about uh, a survivor of a plane crash. You crash in a desert where there's some cult activity going on. What I loved about the game is just how scary it is. It's it's a very different vibe. It's kind of like playing Blair Witch in the first person. It's you are the person who made the footage that they found. A game that took me by surprise is probably Record. I sort of heard some things, but I didn't really know what it was all about, so getting my hands on it was exciting. It's got a lot of complex things to it, and I actually think that's going to be really fun when it comes out. New concept things we haven't seen in games yet. It's bright, it's colorful, um, it's a post-apocalyptic world that's not gray or brown. I really liked it. It's actually my favorite game here today. Uh, I just played Killer Instinct and that was fantastic. I'm a big Killer Instinct fan. When I heard that it was coming back and Xbox was bringing it back to the next gen consoles, I was super happy. And seeing how far it's come has been fantastic. What they've done with Killer Instinct is something you don't see in fighting games very often. The way they're doing season to season so that they can ever expanding roster with the fighting game community. And it gives it that feel that anybody who's a gamer of any fan or any type can come into Killer Instinct and have a blast. Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. I played We Happy Few, and it was neat because it took the survival formula and turned it on a very unique turn. It's kind of like Bioshock, and Bioshock was one of my favorite series as well, and it's designed beautifully. It's a dystopia where um, everyone takes these pills to be happy all the time, and you're just you're sick of it, you're done with it, you don't want to take them anymore, you want to, you know, accept the world for what it is, and because of that, you're an outcast and you're just trying to get out of it, you know, try to survive through that. And if you don't... One less mouth to feed, eh? Forza Horizon 3 really blew me away when I tried it out. I've always loved the Forza series. It's been one of my favorite racing series. I would describe Forza Horizon 3 as a giant open playground. The co-op campaign just looks cool. Some of the best stuff about multiplayer on Xbox is seriously just the community. I can jump in and be like, hey guys, you want to come play? And then two seconds later, I've got a full lobby of guys wanting to race. I have a whole car club going on, uh, Forbidden Customs, Forbidden for short. Love just being able to cruise around, show off your cars, your creations. When you're playing Forza, like the, the remote, it just reflects the feel of the actual car. It's like you're in real life. Tell us what you think about the new games in the comments section. Already playing Gears of War 4 and Forza Horizon 3? Post your best kills and spills and we might feature them on next month's episode. Everybody has a different reason for loving Xbox Live. Community. The exclusives. Halo. Meeting new people. Games, games, games. The games with gold is really great. Did someone just say games with gold? Seems like a good time for Gold Rush. For those of you who don't know, every month Xbox Live Gold members get free games called Games with Gold. Just download them and they're yours for as long as you have an Xbox Gold membership. This month's Games with Gold are Super Mega Baseball Extra Innings, The Escapist, MX vs. ATV Reflex, and I Am Alive. And here to give you their take, our Xbox correspondents, Caboose XBL and Ender the Answer. I'm Caboose XBL. I'm Ender the Answer. And today we're going to be breaking down the Xbox Live Games with Gold. Starting with Super Mega Baseball X Trainings. Man, this game is fun, fun, fun. The tutorial teaches you the game right away. It's fast paced, great customization in this game for hours and hours of fun, and you still haven't beaten me a decade. Not just yet, but next up we have The Escapist. This is an 8 bit classic style game that puts you in the shoes of someone who is trying to break out of prison. You have lots of tools at your disposal, whether that's crafting items or bribing inmates or upgrading the three attributes to your character, being speed, strength, or intellect. And we all know you're not going to be upgrading intellect. We also got MX versus ATV Reflex. 
This is a game that's gonna take a little bit of patience. You learn the controls, you're gonna master the game. The rolls are nice and wide, making for great customization as you play along the game as well. And last up, we have I Am Alive, a suspenseful, gritty, dark story about a man who is trying to reconnect with his lost family in a post-apocalyptic world. The supplies are scarce, so use them at your own risk. This game is really, really gonna test your wits. And when we say resources, we mean resources. You literally get one bullet in this game. It's a game that takes a lot of patience too, so clearly you're not gonna be playing it. Thanks guys. Now let's talk cars for a minute. Forza Horizon 3 takes players to the land down under, what Playground is calling the largest and most diverse open world the franchise has seen yet. With a new four-player online co-op mode and an awesome array of vehicles, it's got this racing fan's heart. Well, racing. Here to tell you why playing with your friends will be better than ever is the man behind the community wheel with Forza Motorsport, Brian Eckberg. Hi, my name is Brian Eckberg. I'm the community manager with TurnGen Studios. We developed Forza Horizon 3 with online in mind because we know we have a really vibrant community that wants to express their love of cars. And in Forza, that means a lot of different things. That might mean you love to go online and race with your friends. It means that you might want to go and share your campaign. So in Horizon 3, we've got campaign co-op for up to four people. We also know that people, they don't always like to race. Sometimes people just like to paint, and they like to take photographs of cars and share them with your friends. So we've got a livery editor, we've got an auction house where people can sell their cars to each other. What makes the Xbox community so unique is just the variety of people. We have all ages of folks. We have everyone from little kids who maybe got into the game because their dad's a car fan, but we also have people who are my age and older who have loved cars their entire lives. We have really passionate fans and really passionate car fans come to our game, right? So they have definite opinions on, hey, this car needs to be in this game and this track needs to be in Forza Motorsport and you should go to Japan or you should go to Canada or wherever in the next Forza Horizon game. We always want that community element to be a part. We want the community to have a voice when we're making any Forza game. Well, that's our episode. We hope you enjoyed it because there's a lot more to come. Be sure to subscribe and follow us at Xbox Canada and watch out for a new segment every few days. But before we go, we have a special announcement to make. After all, it's not every day someone reaches a six-figure gamer score. So let's give it up for Marky Mark TD3, who just hit 100,000. Congratulate Marky Mark TD3 in the comments section and post your own gamer score. Next month's celebration might be for you. Until next time, keep playing together. Ciao.